one. Oh, it's doing All another right. three, two, one. And we're recording. What's All up, right. everybody? We're hey. Fever Point. I'm Connor. We got Sam, Daniel, and Xander here. Um, we haven't seen each other's faces in like four months now. So that's cool. But we're all here together and we're going to answer some questions yeah. you guys have sent us. And here we go. From Danny. Danny's Thanks, great. She had some very nice things to say about Torch. So we appreciate you, Danny. Her first question was, how did y'all end up as bandmates? How did we all end up as bandmates, guys? Um, I mean, I can try to describe this one. Um, <laughs> basically, Connor and I have been trying to make this band for like, uh, how many years now? When we were, we started when we were, we tried to start when we were freshmen in high school. And now we would be juniors in college, or I guess technically seniors. Yeah. yeah. I mean, basically yeah. it just dwindled oh. down to only Connor and I after a couple other members. And then we picked up Daniel for bass and I knew Xander from way back in elementary school. And yeah. I knew he played guitar. So I asked him to try it out and we all synced up pretty quick. Yeah, and Daniel, Daniel didn't even play bass, and I, I, he played a little guitar, and I was like, hey, Daniel, I need a bassist. You play bass now. Yeah, so. he just lent me his guitar, and yeah, and, his then bass, we, um, and here we are. We met Jack um, through Facebook, because we knew his sister, um, and so he was in the band for a while. He left late last year. He was our, he was drummer. our drummer, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Sam had a brief hiatus from the band, but he's back now, and that's all cool yeah that was when i went off to college yeah i went off to college and then three out yeah. of the band exactly. ended up dropping yeah. out after their college. first year <laughs> <laughs> yeah zandy zandy's the only one in college still so still going cool. yeah. yeah that's basically it we realized we like had a lot of music like our abilities and tastes were like complementary and we tried to do it and eventually we kind of did it and now we have a song out yeah and now we're here and now we're here. All right. When did you get your first gig? That has a few different answers. Um, me and Sam did like, we did like open mics and talent shows in high school and stuff. We did that one. We did this one show at a teen center where we just played a bunch of covers and it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good summary, actually. Yeah, we, we don't talk about that one. And then we did... <laughs> Then with like this lineup with like Daniel and Xander, we did um we did this thing for a charity show. We did like a kind of mini acoustic set. And then we started doing open mics at the Skylark Cafe in West Seattle. But our first like real, real show was at Studio Seven. We we're opening yeah. for Rebra, which is our friend Ty, aka Lay Shock's former band. Um, and he liked us so much that, and that he was what, January twenty eighteen? Yeah, twenty eighteen. And then the first show we played after Sam came back was early 29. Was that late 18 or early 19? I think it was I, early. Oh, man. I think that was early 19. I so would say early 19 there. if I that had That was the Funhouse one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That was like yeah. January. Yeah, so a few different answers. Um, we've had a lot of first gigs, so to speak. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you, Danny, for your questions. We've got one from Mr. Misty Eye. He is also great. He asked, do you ever plan on releasing merch? Yeah, of course. Eventually. Yeah. What do you guys want? Yeah. You know, leave a comment or something. I'm, we've talked yeah. about hats and stickers and rate and like shirts you know, and shirts eventually for sure. We de yeah. we'll definitely put out merch if there's interest eventually. All right. And now we're moving into the anonymous questions. Um, first one, what is everyone's relationship status? Just go down the list, I guess. Who wants yeah. to start? Uh, I'm I'm single. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I'm single. I mean, yeah, not much to say there. Yeah, also single. And ladies, I'm so sorry, but Xander, what is your relationship status? I have a girlfriend I've been dating for almost two years. It's been two years? Almost. Holy in, crap. In November. It's oh, like, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. No, that's wild. Yeah. All right. Next one. Where do you hope to be in five years, both band and life in general? For me, I just, I want to be at a point where I'm making a living off doing what I love in like some capacity. Like I, I want to work in music full time. Like that's what I want to do. Um, I hope maybe I can like earn some money producing for other people. 
I hone my skills enough, maybe I can earn an income off this. Um, there's a lot of unanswered questions. You know, I'm young, but I, I hope to have more of those questions answered. I hope to be making a living in a way that I don't hate. <laughs> what about you guys? Yeah. I mean, you summed it up pretty well. I mean, in five years, I would love to be, you know, doing this and being able to live off that, you know, it would be awesome. That would be. In five years, I, I mean, I'd love to be doing the music thing. Um, and on the side, I also really want to be making like solid progress towards my biomedical engineering degree. There's some there's some rock musicians out there. I think the guy from um, Offspring has like a PhD or like multiple PhDs or something like that. I don't know. That sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Zandy? What's, uh, what's hopefully that? I'm gonna graduate next year, and hopefully go to law school after that, and keep doing this at the same time. That's the plan. Sweet. Baller. Okay. Um, what's your favorite venue so far? I kind of got two similar questions. It was, what's your favorite venue so far? And what venue has the best energy? Uh, my favorite venue is Club Sir. I like the vibe there. We played there a couple times. Each one is yeah, been two or three experience. times now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my favorite venue so far has been Fun House. Um, That's a good one. We played a show there, opening for Ra the Rugged Man, and the energy of that show was off the charts. It was one of the best shows I have ever been to. And it was and we just were a, part a blast. Of it. Yeah, it was a blast being able to, you know, say that I was a part of that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, small venue, but it has a lot of energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. And a lot of character. I think, I think Fun House, particularly that show, uh, probably best energy at a show that we played, at least yeah, for me. For sure. I, my I agree opinion. with that. But um, I think my favorite one to play so far was Hard Rock Cafe. I, it just had like, a, I don't know, it was really chilling. Everybody I there was that. really cool and they, they were supportive, but not like disruptive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. No, I mean, that, that was cool. I mean, there's pictures of us in front of like the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah. Sign. Like that's, that's, that's iconic. They got, they got like it was rock a, relics on the wall. Yeah. It was a nice stage too. It was a nice Yeah, day. the stage was really nice, and, and they had a bar pretty close to it, too. It was super chill. Yeah, okay. Cool stuff. Um, next one. This is also kind of a two similar-ish questions. It was, um, where do y'all find inspiration from, and uh, who slash what inspires you to make music? For me, it comes from a lot of different places. Um, usually, it's like I'm thinking about something I'm going through. Um, it's kind of my way of processing situations a lot of the time, like with Torch, our song that's out now, y'all should listen to it. Um, I was kind of in a point in my life where I was, I had to make a lot of decisions that a lot of people didn't agree with. And it was kind of like the socially not as accepted thing to do. Um, and Torch is about like standing your ground and like blazing your own trail in spite of what everyone else is saying or what society's saying. So that's kind of where that comes from. But a lot of times it's also like just something pops in my head or I'm fooling around with a sound and it, I think it's cool and I just build something from that. But yeah. Um, I mean, for me, like I've always used music to help me like process like whatever I'm going through, emotions, just something happened that threw me off earlier in the day. And so being able to play music and you know just it helps me get that out and, and hopefully help other people do the same thing yeah, yeah. sam xander xander you guys are um, like daddy i agree with that <laughs> I, do you want to go first Sammy? i don't i don't have much to say i think you both okay. summed it I mean, up I pretty well i don't contribute that much creatively to the songwriting <laughs> process of the band i yeah. But that being said, like when I make my own, my own tunes or anything like that, a lot of the time it's just a combination of uh, tunes I've heard from like, or rather being inspired by tunes that I've heard in songs that I really like lately. Yeah. Um, and trying to think of like songs with similar vibes or like uh, just similar uh, schemes in general. 
Yeah. Um, and then sometimes, sometimes I'll pour a little emotion into something if I'm writing lyrics, but I usually don't pour emotion into like the instrumental side of songwriting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear that. Um, I'm going question. off that. We should, what's like one of our top artists right now? We should all go down there. Oh yeah. I like that's a good yes. idea. All right. Well, if you listen to our song at all, you obviously know I like Linkin Park. I get, we get that comparison all the time. I've also been listening to a ton of stuff. I love super whatever right now, water parks, stuff like that. I also really like Purity mm -hmm. Ring, um, Kendrick Lamar, Lupe. Um, Am I going to have to come up with like a 20 list? I <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm kind of all over the place yeah. right now. What about you guys? Um, I've been listening to a lot of I Prevail and uh, NF lately. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I've been hovering around like the Rex and um, uh, St. Motel, uh, always staying with like I Prevail and Beartooth and, you know, my heavier stuff. But these days it's a lot more happy here feeling songs. You just froze for a little bit. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. It's all good. The message got across. Okay. And I've been listening to a lot of Hot Mulligan lately, which is a nice pop punk band. Mm. I think you told me to check them out. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, you uh, you had us check them out a while back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I definitely need some new music. So you guys, if any of you watching have music yeah. recommendations, yeah, I'll take recommendations. Always. Man. My music's starting to get bland. I haven't listened to new stuff in a while. Yeah, it's been it, like. We have all the time in the world right now to like find new music, but I feel like I'm not really taking advantage of that. Yeah. yeah. A lot of music is like, you know, shared with us by other people that, you know, we see in the day to day. And since we're all stuck exactly. at home, it's kind of like, oh, there's not really that much new music entering our lives. Yeah. Um, who is your biggest fan? It's a, it's a, how many followers do we have right now? How many is it? It's a 458-way tie. You're all good. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, you guys all are all you guys great. out there. I mean, if yeah. somebody wants to take a stand and be number one, I, you know. If yeah. there's a number one, it's probably the guy who drew that picture inspired by Torch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm totally going to butcher heart. his name. It's um, Luz E. Noche. He's cool. Okay. He, he was the guy, he, he's from Costa Rica, and he listened to our song like 30, 40 sometimes. I can see those statistics. I Such appreciate respect. you. <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's yeah. official Fever Point fan art out there. There sure is. That, that, that was totally surreal for me to see. Um, yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty much all we got. Um, you know, if you guys keep handing us questions, we'd love to do this regularly um maybe every few months or so yeah. um and i'll see you guys all on twitter if you if you've been interacting with fear point on twitter it's been me so hello yeah nice to meet you that's all him it's all me <laughs> and uh yeah um go stream torch watch the music video it's out on every major platform right now we appreciate you we will have new stuff out by the end of 2020 for sure at, at least something Hopefully. Yeah. I don't want a little to, something. I don't want to back myself into a corner there, but <laughs> we're working on new stuff and I hope you guys look forward to it. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, yeah thanks for watching. Thank you guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. All right. How do I stop recording? <laughs>